everybody, Candace here. I got my new boat. I yeah. Got 2005 Shearwater Z2400. Uh, beautiful boat. It's got a Yamaha 250. We just came out here and took it out, ran in the bay for a little while, and had a great time. Ran excellent. So it's a 2005, right? It's 2005. Yeah. How much fuel does it hold? 80 gallons. The Z model, um, Shearwater makes a couple models, and the Z model is one that allows, it's got a bigger, it's a bigger hole, and it has a bigger fuel capacity, 80 gallons. So you can take this thing from 16 inches of water, they say, up to uh, two to three foot wave. 16 inches of water, that's pretty good for a big 24 foot boat, guys. That's uh, Rain great today. I believe the spec says this boat, the hull itself weighs like 2,700 pounds. I could be wrong, but uh, that's a, that's a lot of boat to be sitting in such shallow water. And I guess because it attributes, because it's eight foot, three inches wide, most boats are really not that wide. So it makes it more buoyant. Has a uh, Minn Kota and uh, the spot lock. Rip tide. Rip tide. 24 volt iPilot. 24 volt iPilot, she says. Beautiful boat, well taken care of. Uh, we can be no more happy than what we got. This thing is great for where we fish at out in the bay. And um, man, I tell you what, it's definitely different from us running little smaller 22 foot boats going to a 25 foot boat. You can tell the way it handles, the way it turns, uh, the hydraulic steering. It's really a Cadillac in the water. It rides so good, it's a dry ride. Very, very smooth. The uh, the lean to the rocket launchers, those are great. Yeah, you can keep you, you take your rods, keep your rods, keep them out of the way. You know, you don't have to worry about the hooks so much. Plenty of deck space, got a lot got of three live wells, dry storage up in the front, rod lockers that are excellent. Everything is very functional. Yeah, this thing has a lot of deck space. If you're uh, looking for a boat that has a lot of space for fishing, this is probably what, four foot wide across the back, you think? From where? Uh, right to five foot. Five least. foot? Yeah. yeah I am. And you got some live wells, a live well engine compartment, and another dry storage on the other side. Great boat, guys. Has a uh, flats jack. I think it's got a 10, 10 inch setback on it. Um, like I said, it has a. 250 ox 66 motor on it. 2002 back in the time these motors were really you know really good motors it pushes the boat good i think we can see about 47 and that's full of fuel and with uh two adults and three children so i mean 47 50 mile an hour is not bad for a 25 foot boat with a 250 two stroke and uh okay. it runs really really good with that setup so you know we safe. very proud of it yeah like candace said you you feel real safe in the way it runs you know it's very uh good on its feet so to speak has a garmin gps system in it, which is great you can uh put the cards in it you can get a live card for it uh or you can put a uh, card you can just download your information onto it however you want to spend it, however you want to spend however much you want to spend i should say and uh Here's some of the inside of it. Got two big rod lockers on both sides. One here, one over there. It's got holders that are very nice. Got an insulated uh, fish box right here in the middle. Got a big suitcase trunk storage area for your life jackets, your throw dummies, your buoys. Uh, any kind of little knickknacks you don't want to get wet. R big area right here. Uh, has a big anchor storage area right in the front also. It's a flip up uh, anchor lid with a flush mount. Uh, the uh, hatch cover latch so it's got a little bit of mud on it we've uh, just been out and about but uh, other than that guys this is a really great boat uh, for the bay and if you're going to go offshore this boat will take it I would not be scared to go very far at all probably 30-40 miles offshore with a fuel capacity and a single engine you know probably about as far as you would like to go but I wouldn't be scared to take it at all. Uh, it comes with a factory aluminum trailer, uh, Meritrail. And so the good thing about these trailers are the bunks are welded on the crossbars. They're not bolted 
a lot of this trailer is welded a lot of aluminum trays are all bolt together this does have some bolt together on it but not near as much probably 50 percent less than most of your aluminum trailers you see so it has 15 inch wheels on it which is better they're st tires uh you know 14 inches are great but the 15s are so much better for the long haul and uh, gives it a much better much better ride overall with a bigger tire got the guide poles on the back really helped get the boat on you got to set this trailer a little bit deeper than normal uh because this boat's big you know it takes a little bit more water to float it and uh the guide poles work great you get it right on the trailer every time so but anyway Congratulations, Candace, on purchase of your boat. Thanks. Yeah, you look. Get some slick sticks. Some slick sticks. Yeah. Yes. Can you get some slick sticks? Give hey, us a shout out. if you're a slick stick, give us a shout out. We would love to uh, give like you them. the opportunity for us to uh, put slick sticks on this boat. All our other boats we run and we put on our YouTube channel have slick sticks on it, and uh, we have the tea bag. It's upside down, but uh, it works great for holding spare life jackets a throw buoy any small things you want to put up in there you know crackers chips whatever you like something light uh, we just keep spare life jackets in there so it um comes in pretty handy guys so hey we're gonna let it go we're gonna be done with this video if you would uh have any questions please ask we will uh always reply we try our best and uh like and subscribe if you don't mind that helps our channel out we're almost to a thousand thinking about doing some kind of giveaway when i get to a thousand so you never know what we'll come up with we've got some pretty good things we may just give away to the one thousandth subscriber so guys y'all have a great one and uh we'll see you out there